These are the only fruits and veggies you should be eating in February. Why? Because they're in season. This is how I smoothie prep for the month of February. I grab all my produce from the farmer's market, so I give it a nice rinse before I add it to my smoothies. I don't rinse them just because they've been sitting outside all day, but because I use the skins from the fruits and veggies to make a nice herbal tea. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. After I chop up my carrots, it's time for those fresh strawberries. I'm telling you, strawberries taste the best in February. And you can't forget those in-season oranges. And ladies, if your man will peel an orange for you, your unk will. Once all my fruits and veggies are prepped, it's time to throw these in the Ziploc bag. The best way to measure is with your God-given hands. So just grab a handful of your oranges, your carrots, your strawberries, your spinach, stuff it in that bag and seal it. Once you've stuffed all your bags, throw them in the freezer so that they stay nice and cold. Pull one out of the freezer an hour before you're ready for your smoothie. And this is how I make mine. A little bit of coconut water, a tablespoon of chia seeds, our fresh February fruit and veggies, a little bit of yogurt, and two capfuls of apple cider vinegar. And then don't forget the vital spice full of ginger, turmeric, and so much more to upgrade your smoothie. Get it from UncleDibs.com. Enjoy this fresh seasonal smoothie all February long. Full recipe in the caption or go to the link in my bio. That's good, shout it.